Good morning. Today I thought I'm just showing you my good looking and handsome beautiful friends in the intro. But this video is very important because I want to show you my five tips how I prevent myself from getting stuff stolen while traveling solo, hitchhiking, doing couch surfing or staying in hostels. Especially when you're traveling with your laptop or your filming gear. During my travel in the last years, I learned a lot about staying safe. Especially because people actually tried to rob me in Bali and in South America and even in my hometown in Berlin, I got my stuff stolen a lot of times. But that's because I didn't figure out my safety hacks yet and I didn't know how to keep my money and my filming gear safe at that time. So here are my five lifesavers for a travel-free trip. I usually don't give product recommendations, but I think for this video it's very useful to just show you my favorite things that I really trust when it comes to safety. And this backpack is just the best thing ever. It made my life just so much easier and I will show you why. The best thing about the backpack is that it has no outer openings, so it's impossible to open it from the outside or while it's on your back, because all the zips are hidden against the back. It's waterproof and it has enough space to fit my laptop and my camera gear. I know that it's impossible to open it while it's on my back and nobody has access to my stuff that is inside there. So I really know even when it's raining, when I'm in a crowded place, when I'm in a rush or whatever, I don't need to worry about anybody trying to open my backpack. And this actually happened to me a lot of times in Berlin. I got my camera stolen, I got my wallet stolen. So I really think everybody should have a backpack like this one or at least every backpack should be designed like this because it's just so much better to know that you don't need to worry about anybody opening your backpack and it just makes you feel comfortable wherever you go. So no matter if you're traveling abroad or if you're commuting to work every day, having a secure backpack is the most important thing because all of your stuff will be inside and you'll be very very glad that it's still there when you arrive. Another thing that I always use when I'm traveling is a belt bag. But not a big one. It's important that it's small and not visible to other people while you are wearing it. So you can hide it under your t-shirt or even under a dress or when you want to go out like nobody will actually see it. There I'm hiding my credit card, some money, my keys or whatever is important to me and I really just use it for the most important things. The most secure place is our body and we should always make use of it. When I'm sleeping outside or on a train it also has space to fit my phone in there. And this belt bag makes me really feel relaxed while sleeping in a public space and makes me feel comfortable at all times while I'm wearing it. So if you don't have a belt bag yet, get one. I learned the importance of locking up my stuff just on my recent trip. Not only ask a lot of hostels for a separate lock, but some of them also charge a fee if you want to rent one. The locks you get in hostels are also not necessarily that secure and can be easily opened by thieves. So that's why I usually carry a simple but secure lock with me, so that I know that I can always lock up my stuff while I'm staying in a hostel or wherever I am. It's also useful to not only lock up your stuff, but also doors, your backpack, your drones, or even your pack safes. So whatever you have with you, you know that you somehow can lock up your stuff if it's really necessary. There are a thousand different kind of locks available on the market out there, but I think choosing one that is not too heavy and not too simple to open is a really good choice to carry around while you're traveling and carrying it around won't feel like a waste of weight. I know that people who really want to open a lock will be able to open the lock. So always keep that in mind, but also don't be too overprotective. You still want to enjoy your trip. And I think just having a lock with you makes things so much secure because most of the thieves usually don't plan to steal your stuff. It mostly just happens randomly by strangers who see that your stuff is not secure and they just grab it and run away. So a lock will definitely prevent people from touching your stuff. Everybody should carry a dummy wallet for mainly two reasons. First, it's never a good idea to keep all your cash in one place. So having a second wallet makes really sense if you just keep a small amount of cash in there. So whenever you need change, you know that you have this wallet 
and small notes are available. In some countries where corruption is still a thing, it might save your life to have a dummy wallet on you or it will at least make your life a little bit easier. So if a police officer stops you and wants some money from you, you can just show him your dummy wallet and he will see that you don't have a lot of cash on you. So he might let you go with a smaller fine or even just let you go because he also doesn't want to have any trouble with you. For instance, this already happened to me in a few countries and I just showed the police officer that I don't have a lot of cash on me so they just let me go because they didn't want to have any trouble either. The second reason why traveling with a dummy wallet might be a good idea is because if people actually try to rob you or want to steal your wallet, you can just hand them over your dummy wallet and it won't be that big of a deal. Of course, I hope this will never happen, but you just never know. And just in an emergency case, you know, you can give this wallet and there won't be any important things in there, just some cash. You know you won't lose that much money and it might save your life if you're trying to cooperate with someone who's trying to rob you. This is something I don't own yet but it's definitely on my list. I was looking for something to lock up my laptop or camera gear while going out at night or when there's no locker available and you don't want to carry your laptop with you around all the time. The idea is to have a small bag that is as secure as a safe. So I stumbled upon this website and I read really, really good recommendations about their products. So what's definitely on my list is a travel safe, which is basically a portable safe, but just doesn't look like one. I think this will be very useful when I travel to hostels that don't have their own safe. On my last trip, for example, I worried a little bit about my laptop because there was no storage available in the hostel and I had to hide my laptop under my pillow. And this probably wasn't the best idea. Anyway, the travel safe is almost like a backpack and you can just lock it on your bed, around a tree or wherever and it will be really really hard to open it even with the right tools. I can imagine that it's so solid that it might add some weight to your bag but I think it's definitely worth it. Traveling is fun and life-changing but it doesn't mean that it can't be frustrating or that accidents can't happen. You always need to be careful when it comes to your safety and your money. Which is exactly why I made this video. So I hope your next travel will be safe and see you next time. This beach was our own paradise of freedom. No phone signal, just a few travelers, a bonfire and the ocean. This was a day of appreciation for our lives and the people who are part of it. We should all allow ourselves to feel a little free. Follow your dreams. 